toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. Okay, ladies, so I'm finally done with this creation from Jolia Hair from Ally Express. Let me tell you, first of all, I know this is probably kind of like different because normally I will show you what it looks like prior to me posting or putting it on, but I did do a makeup look of this entire look which was just using black owned products or black owned makeup brands. So that is the reason why I have this on now. I did use boxed hair dye to create these highlights in it and change the color up. So what I used was the Cream of Nature Ginger Blonde Highlight or box dye. And um, also along with that, I did use the um, Revlon, I think it is by Revlon, Revlon Color Silk, which is like $2.92, and I did use their Pale Ash Blonde. So I used two boxes of the Pale Ash Blonde from the Color Silk and one box of the Cream of Nature Ginger Blonde. With the Cream of Nature, all I did was kind of like place it on top of the hair that was already dyed, or not even dyed, but already saturated with the Color Silk, and that just made it more vibrant. I do notice that with the actual Cream of Nature, this does work really well. It kind of like intensifies the color a lot better than like the color silk or a lot of different brands out there so if i were anybody i would highly re recommend using like the cream of nature ginger blonde that is like one of the best dot um, box dyes that you can use on the market and it will lighten the hair up if you want to go a little bit lighter of course you'd have to go a further step i would basically wait a few days and then re-dye it again with the actual cream of nature or you can just use bleach bleach is a little bit more harsher so that is the reason why i like to use the box dye sometimes because you will not lose your curl pattern so i did use every last bundle of this hair and it actually turned out so so pretty now in the beginning it was more or less kind of like silkier texture and then once i put it on and i kind of like fluffed it up i kind of like frizzed it out to make it look a little bit fuller as well as a little bit more frizzier and more natural looking and that's what I wanted to do with this one but I like the way the color came out it came out so chocolatey and now, as for the closure I did tweeze a little bit while the hair was wet like I normally do because I do like a more natural looking uh, closure I do like the part to look a little bit more natural and a little bit wider and especially with thicker hair you do need that especially if it's curly hair now for those of you who are wondering does the closures um, look so light I actually use some of my foundation this time which was black ups cosmetics foundation and I use that on the inside of the cap along with a beauty sponge and a little bit on the outside this gave me like the most natural effect the most natural look along with that I also use one of my favorite hair building fibers which is top it so as for the hair from Jolia hair it really is some great hair I will give them that it does hold up as well as that as it just keeps a great curl pattern and I really didn't see any shedding I kept the box side on for like two hours and make sure that it got through to the hair and especially because it's virgin then you know what it's really really like no no issue but yes yes honeys it really came out really really great and as the norm it does have three combs in it usually I'll put like four but this time around I've been using just like three because I'm kind of getting like cheap on my combs I just figure if you're wearing a full lace wig and it has three combs in it then I can make one that has three combs I'm kind of funny like that though I do like prefer like four combs but three combs works just as well the actual hair came out amazing like absolutely amazing and I'm very very impressed with them so I will place all their information for you girls below as for any bundle lens cut or layered I didn't take any of the lens off this is still all the full 16 inches though I probably could have got like 16 16 and 14 so if you ever wanted to basically layer curly hair I would just suggest like starting off with like 16 16 and 14 or 16 14 and 14 so that way it kind of like layers itself but I didn't cut anything off because it was curly and sometimes curly hair can get so tricky but it kind of lays really well three bundles was actually more than enough I'm trying to remember I do have a couple of tracks that are double basically folded in half so that way I could use it all because I wanted to use all of it yeah for the most part you can check them out i'll post all their information below as normal um stay diva and divalicious make sure you rate comment subscribe and i'll see you girls and guys on my next video